Hello everyone, it's Carla here today with a guest design team project for Shabbylicious. This is my second project for Lily's shop and I've created quite a bit so I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. Um, this is the first thing I created. This is a mixed media box um, and I am just super in love with it. Um, so here at the top, this is one of Lily's gorgeous napkins and I adhered it to the paper mache box. Um, there's several different techniques that I've used. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to pick up well on camera, but um, there's quite a bit of glitter um, and different sprays that I used on top of that. Um, these doodads are from the shop. Uh, what I did was I gessoed roughly uh, the perimeter first and then I did my um, stenciling, my ripped up papers and the stamping and then um, well I put the napkin before the stencil rather just because I wanted it to be layered on top so um, I really like the effect and I also did the sides just here and there um, this cluster of flowers uh, is just a whole bunch of uh, different items. The flowers were from my stash and uh, they've all been glittered up as well. Um, these metal pieces are from the Lily's shop. The leaves are from her shop. Uh, let's see, this uh, light peach Doodad is from her shop, the uh, resin piece there. Um, these fabric flowers are also from her shop. Uh, this dangle I had in my stash. I added this wooden flourish here. And then this uh, cluster, this flower is from Lily's shop also, and it's been uh, glimmered. And I'll put pictures at the end uh, so you could see the shimmering effect better. These flowers were from her shop, I believe. Yes, and then I gessoed everything. Here's some leaves tucked in. I just love it. So that's the top of the box. Um, what I did was I took these three from the snowflake trim that she has, and this is my favorite, um, and I just cut them apart here, and I just put them in front with these little teeny tiny pink doodads that she carries in her store. And I love, I just love how that looks. Um, next, I layered three different laces. Um, this is one that I had in my stash that I did purchase from Lily in the past. Um, and then I layered it with this lace and then this lace. And so I, when I laid them down, I just offset them. And I did spray them with my Lindy's lightly, a very pale pink. Um, and then different shades of uh, glitter, glimmer mist, glitter, glitz, glitz is what they have. Um, and then this beautiful pink ruffle lace is from the shop, from Lily's shop. And originally I had it up here and my daughter came in and said, oh mommy, that looks like a tutu. And so I pushed it down because now I had the tutu image in my head. <laughs> And I liked it so much better, so that was a happy uh, uh, occurrence there. One instance where I did like my daughter being in the craft room. <laughs> so, um, so there is the box, and I'll just turn it so you can see. These doodads are from the shop, and you can see um, that's some homemade texture paste. And I wanted it to be very um, shabby grunge. Uh, there's more texture. Everything's been glimmered and stenciled and the box back here has all got glitter all over it. So there is my box and these are great um, when you're gifting something to someone for a swap. Uh, Christmas is coming up so this would be something really unique to uh, put a gift in or of course just to use for yourself. So I didn't stop there. Inside the box um, is a mini album. So I will just set this here and I made a mini album um, 
and I painted the inside this cream color and it's all got glitter in there too. So it's this beautiful heart uh, pack. Um, so what I did was I adhered the paper and I gessoed over it, just a, a dry uh, rub. And then this lace in the back is from Lily's shop. And then I made these um, hearts out of corrugated paper, uh, corrugated cardboard, and I painted them white and cream. And it was the process to do this was not um, with perfection in mind, you know. It was just very um, just moving my light over. Um, with mixed media, you know, it's not always a perfect process, but it ends up coming together wonderfully. So anyway, so I put this other. Um, strip and then this is paper that I had purchased from Lily in the past. She doesn't have this particular one in stock but the papers she has are uh, uh, gothic vintage uh, papers so that would work. So you would just roll it up, stick it there. This cabochon is from her shop. These are her gorgeous flowers and some of the fabric flowers. Okay, This is from her shop also. Um, and then this first page I did the lace again, and then these are some of the beautiful paper butterflies, and I just put them off to the side there like they're flying. Um, gorgeous flowers again, and then this clip I had in my stash, and uh, I created a, a little pocket for a tag. Okay, this page has the uh, corrugated heart, Another tag that's good for journaling. Some of the layered butterflies. You can take two and just fold the top one. And that's really pretty. And then in the back, here's one of her lace trims that you can see. Uh, just here, peeking out. And these laces that I uh, wound throughout, they were just from my stash. Okay, the next page. Let me get that in view. Um, another heart. This would be a good spot for a photo. And then these are her white filigree flowers and so I just cut had them in half and tucked one in the back and then the smaller one in front with a little pearl doodad flower. And I did that on both sides. Okay, this side journaling card. Uh, another corrugated heart. And then this cluster is all from her shop. I love these little tiny flowers. And then this is one piece with the leaves and a piece of her strawberry lace. Okay, and then this one, this is my favorite paper, so I left it very plain. I just gessoed it. And then these uh, little doodads are from the shop. And then the butterflies again. And this page. This page is my favorite one um, with her trim. So here's one of her pale pink trims, and this is a good spot for a card to go in. Um, and then I took her metal filigree flower and I cut off a middle piece in the top and then one in the bottom and just manipulated it to look like a butterfly. And I did the same thing there. And I think that looks really cute. And of course, these have been glimmered excessively. <laughs> and then here's the back of the album and this beautiful butterfly applique is from Lily's store and it's a pocket so you can put tags, uh, photos, cards, whatever you want. Okay, so here is the gorgeous mini album that I made, but I didn't stop there. I know, I'm crazy today. Um, I was just so inspired with all of Levi's products, it was very easy to make things. So I made some Christmas ornaments. So I got these ornaments um, last year, and so what I did was I took this paper that you see in the back is from her store. Um, you can take the one that she carries currently and what you would do is Mod Podge it onto the back and then paint it white after it dries and then you're left with this magnified effect. Magnifying glass effect. And then these are pearl garlands from her shop and I just cut them into small pieces and some music notes that I purchased from her in the past. This is her beautiful snowflake trim that she currently has with a doodad flower. 
And then I put that trim all the way around with a uh, doily underneath. And then this is her mesh lace that she carries. And this dangle down here, I just opened the jump ring and wove, in, wove, wove it through <laughs> the lace. And um, these beautiful dangles, I don't remember where I purchased them from, but they were in my stash. And isn't that drop dead gorgeous? So these are going to pick up the light so well. And so here's one. I created four. I know I was a mad woman. So here's the next one. Um, this is her beautiful ballerina napkin. And I had to use two layers because it was a very um, faded. It was very faded when I used just the top layer. So I adhered it down, painted it white in the back after it dried, and then here's the light pink lace. And I love this lace. It is so delicate and beautiful. And then, of course, I put the doily on the back, adhered my gorgeous um, bling <laughs> tassel, and then more of the mesh. And I love it. And then, of course, inside we have the music notes with the cut-up pearls. And you could add a whole bunch of things in here. I didn't want it to be too excessive. My little dangle fell. I don't want it to be too excessive um, because I don't want to detract from the beautiful image there. Um, anyhow, so that's my ballerina. And then next I have my beautiful, beautiful angel. Isn't she so sweet? So I did the same thing, um, the same technique, and then of course I used this lace this time. And then I just went all around with the doily and then the mesh at the top. So I did want them to be cohesive, um, but you don't have to do that. You could put uh, glitter, a whole bunch of things. Okay, and there's number three. And let me show you the last one. My two angels, aren't they precious? I didn't put anything in this one just to show you how it looked. You don't, you don't need to put anything in there, um, but I just love this one so much. That image is so precious. And I'm sorry that you're picking up the glare from my lamp, but isn't that just gorgeous? You could even put feathers in here, just bells, a whole bunch of things. So here's her strawberry lace with the doodad from her shop, the mesh trim, and then the strawberry lace goes all the way around with the doily and the dangle. Well, that concludes my humongous share of the <laughs> guest design team project. Um, I had so much fun creating for uh, Lily's shop. Thank you so much, Lily, and to the rest of the design team, thank you so much for having me. Um, I am just uh, so pleased with the projects that I made, and I hope you are. Let me just take this out so you all can see. If anyone has any questions about how anything was made, um, please don't hesitate to ask. I love um, sharing and learning from you all, and I hope you all have a beautiful holiday. And thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Everyone have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.